Hello again, it's uh, Joey John McGuire in a, a different Weatherspoons pub today. I've been here before, but only a couple of times. I'm in the Montague Pike. There are two uh, Weatherspoons in Leicester Square, and this one is just around the corner from Leicester Square uh, on Charing Cross Road. Um, it's the 30th of uh, December. Uh, just coming into the new year and uh, I heard from uh, someone very dear to me uh, yesterday I'd lost his email address and I'd like to say a very happy new year to my very um, good friend uh, in Australia hello there mate I can't do Australian so Mark Hinton uh, here's to a uh, Happy New Year uh, to you and your family and thank you for everything. I'm about to recite my latest poem uh, which I did as per usual in the early hours of this morning. It's called Living the Anti-Life. I think I shall uh, dedicate this one to Mark Hinton. So here you go Mark. Living the Anti-Life. I am to life the anti-life, constantly in flight. No sooner have my feet touched the ground. I am in turmoil, in an empty vat, being smothered by a maelstrom of betrayal and deceitful happenings. My days are shrouded by the dark shadows of night. Although I am forced to engage with most things, I am in constant avoidance of everything, always fearing something dangerously imminent, however minimal a threat. I am a slave to hope in that I am well practiced in wishful thinking, constantly longing for the fulfillment of my dreams, which are to my disapproval often interrupted by the pestilence of reoccurring nightmares. And as for love, I am to love as fire is to wood, water is to fire. Some would say I survive to exist. They would be right to question why I bother. To which, on a good day, I may have an answer, and on a bad day, I'd cry, but what the hell, not everyone's dreams can come true, and every day is not destined to be a Hollywood moment, as my life proves. I suppose that's why I survive, why I'm living the anti-life, longing for fulfillment, at the same time watching the clock as I race against time, a lonely soul chasing a dream, always on the lookout ducking and diving in apprehensive terror knowing only too well that one day it will be my turn to die well Mark we all know where that one came from uh, good luck to you Mark I'll be in touch with you very very soon <laughs>